America Junior and Junior Miss 2012. At this moment, I'm backstage where we have all of the contestants. And as we pan around the room, we're going to walk around and perhaps interview some of the contestants. Some of them are not actually dressed yet, so I may not get to everyone. But basically, this is the area where all the contestants get dressed, where they prepare for category, category, different categories. And the applause that you hear now is someone that's just as completed their talent segment. I may pull that contestant, who knows? But as we scan around the room, you'll get a take on what it's like to compete for a Black American Junior Dream Miss. The contestants have came from many different cities, many different states. Many of them, you know, have entourages with them. As you can see, these people just came off the stage. That's who you heard the applause for. And let's walk around. Get some insight for some of the contestants. Some of these contestants, all of these contestants are adults. You have to be 21 years of age to compete for Black American pageantry. You have to be born male. That's for the, the female impersonators. And for the males, of course, they're already male. So some of them, like I said, have came from near and far. So we're going to just scan around the room and see how some of the contestants are feeling. This is one of our contestants. Tell me your name, your contestant number, and we'll go from there. I'm Lupe Bonet, and I'm contestant number nine. Oh, you're all the way at the end. So how does it feel being at the end with 11 boys? It's, um, I'm very, in, I'm anticipating. Right. It's, it's anxious, nervousness, <laughs> right, right? Right, I'm very anxious right now. So what happens if you go on to become the next Black America Junior? I don't know. That's like gonna be so That's like, question overwhelming. It's gonna for. it's gonna be overwhelming for me. I don't know right, how right, right. that would feel right now. So like, tell, tell us about some of the preparation. What does it take to be able to perform for this day? What is the process so, like? A lot of money. How much money? <laughs> what is a lot of money? <laughs> Give me an estimate. I know, but we want them to know. Okay. Well, I would say. It's a, it's a grip. It's probably in the thousands. It's wow, a grip. Yeah, that's so because you, so have to, you have to pay for it. The entry fee, which is a grip. Right, right, right. You know, what is a grip? We need the, a grip. We need the, 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 the Caucasians that watch this. Oh, no, right. <laughs> in the thousands, maybe two or three thousand. That's right. a grip to me because I don't right. have much money. Exactly. So that's a grip exactly. to me. Right. So, so with, with, with spending all the money, what happens if you don't? Do you start over? I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't feel on top of way about it because you signed up for it. It's part of competing. It's part of competing. So, so being that there's ten other guys in the pageant, is there anyone here? If you could just tell me quietly that you're like your biggest competition. I'm my, I'm my own biggest competition. Great answer. Great answer. <laughs> so, but I mean, you have to know some Do you know any of the other competitors? I do. I do. Okay. Quite a few. Okay. My uncle, um, Nicole Dickerson, is a um, great competitor. Oh, okay. Right, right. And I explained earlier at Black America TV back in March about the family dynamics, so that's what it was referred to as an uncle. So I wish you good luck tonight. I, I just know that this is going to be a really good time. So I can just, the excitement is in the air back there. So anything else you want to say to Black America TV? I'm having a great time, and I hope that all falls in my favor. Everything falls in my favor, right. So, and um, I hope to see you all. Yeah, right. Get Join the family. Okay, so good luck.